So now let's go ahead and take a look at the solo, and the solo comes in at about a minute 46 seconds on the track here. And uh, it's a scalar type of solo, has a really cool feel to it, uh, very traditional. Um, we're going to start here on the 10th fret, and we're going to take a look at the first lick, which is a grouping of five here. So we're going to go 10, 11, 12, 13 on the second string, 10 on the last string. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we're into the scale sequence. 15 to 15 on the second string. So 15 on the first string, 15 on the second string. And it's all just little patterns here. 14 first string, 13 second string, 12 first string, 12 second string. So, so now let's group the five notes and go into this sequence here. Okay, now we're going to go to the notes on the second and third string. Second string 15, third string 14, second string 13, third string 12. Okay, now what we're going to do is group it together. Okay, once more. So da 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 da. That kind of goes back to the old saying: if you can say it, you can play it. I would kind of really get into do 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 do. Just kind of do the rhythm. You don't even have to have the notes right, but just get the rhythm happening in your head. So that way, when you go to put the you know the notes together, it it flows that much easier. So now we're into the patterns on the third and fourth string. So we go. 12, 12, 11, 10, 9, 9, 7, 7, and we end on 5 with a little vibrato. So this little sequence, okay, now what we want to do is connect all that together. Here we go. Once more, a little slow. Two, three. Okay, now we're halfway through the solo. Now, the next sequence running up, instead of five notes, it's going to be six notes, starting at the same spot. We add the 11th fret on the second string, so you have to be even faster. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just keep practicing that over and over. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. First one is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Second one is. Okay. Now, this next scale pattern going down is a lot easier than the first one because it's predominantly on the first string and second string. So I'm going to give you the first string number first and then the second string. 14, 15, 12, 13, 10, 12. Let's do that. Same rhythm. Bop, 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 bop. You know, just keep running that rhythm. Here we go. Carrying down, we're going to go 8, 10. 7, 8, 5, 7. So from the top, 14, 15, 12, 13, 10, 12, 8, 10, 7, 8, 5, 7. All together. One more time. Now we go 3, 5. Two, three. Okay, and that's the whole sequence on the on the second and first string. Now we go second string five, third string four, end on three at the end. 
Now we're going to run the whole second half. Okay, now what I want to do is run the whole solo slowly, and then I'm going to go ahead and play it with the backing track. One, two, three. Two, three. Dime, Kaiko, te. 